So, uh, moving on, we've, we're, we've created our little poly barrel. Now we're gonna go in and um, make a high poly version of this. So, I'm just gonna go back to my channel box. I've got my low poly there. I grab this and duplicate it, Control D. And let's make a layer from this as well. Ready? Just go in and call this high poly. If I could spell and save this. Okay. So this is our high poly version of this. Um, for the high poly, um, just to give me a bit more freedom with the top and bottom of this. I'm going to duplicate these off. Um, so I'm just going to get a face. I'm going to use the tab key again. Just to paint across there. The same on the bottom. And then I'm going to go to edit mesh and extract down to the face section. So what this is going to do, it's going to separate off all of these three elements. So into this, I'm going to double click on all of these edge rings again. Oops. So I just shifted by clicking on these. Okay. And uh, so we're going to create the um, the the breaks or the gaps between the each of the individual planks. So first of all, I'm going to do in the modeling toolkit. I'm going to do a bevel on this. I'm going to bring this in. I want this quite small, so I'm actually going to type in a value of 0 0.0 um, around 0 0.06 on this. Uh, just remembering that value because I'm going to do that on the planks on the top and bottom as well. Exactly the same size. So into face mode, I'm going to select these now. So just click on the top one and then click on a neighboring one to that and uh, shift double click and do that for all. So it's a quick way of grabbing these loops. So I click on that, click on the next one on. Uh, shift click, shift double click. Being careful that I am just getting these. If I accidentally won't get one of these, I'm going to be doing uh, like that. I'm going to be grabbing more than I need. So just being careful about that. And again, if um, you find that the transform's getting in the way, you can always press Q. Last one. Okay, so we've got all of those. So to get these in, I'm just gonna use an extrude. So again, we can extrude there, or I can do a Control E. Uh, to get that best out of this, if I just extrude, bring that down, uh, we're not gonna get the best out of the normal map. Um, normal maps don't work well with a, a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to just offset these quickly. First of all, I'm going to offset these by a value of 0 0.1 in this particular instance. And then I'm going to extrude these down by the same pretty much. Um, and we'll do this 0 0.1. Okay. So I'll now set 0 0.1, a thickness of minus 0 0.1 to bring those in. And that's going to read better as a normal map. And there we get the individual planks. So let's do the same with the top and bottom of this. If I want, I can just uh, isolate this uh, by pressing on this or using the keyboard shortcut Control 1. So let's just get these edges. Just using my tab tool again on this. So same thing as we did with the barrel, I'm going to bevel. We had this at 
not 0.06. Okay. Right, you can use multi-component mode as well in the toolkit, which allows us to go between edges and faces. Um, it's not something I use a lot, because to be honest, it's so quick to select individual components anyway. And there is always the danger with this, that you might be selecting edges rather than faces, but like I just did there. Control click on that. And in fact, just for the sake of this, I'm just going to grab that. Okay. Uh, so same thing, I'm going to do an extrude. I'm going to do an offset of 0.1. It seems like no, it didn't do point one. It just didn't look as big a gap. And then uh minus not point one. Okay. I did definitely do those at not point six. Not quite sure what's going off there. Let me just just undoing this. Tell you what, let me let me just take the thickness down of those first. go in I really don't know why that's going like that so let's try okay that's better uh, so I've just done that a value of 0 0.05 and that seems to be Okay. Okay, control one. And let's do the bottom. And again, what I could do is I could just uh, copy this and place it down. And in fact, I might just do this for the sake of this. Um, I'm just looking at what we need to do here. I, I just need to set the pivot point in a better place um, so I can just symmetry this down. So just looking at the barrel, I'm just going to quickly do a multi-cut on this. So shift Control x And I just want to cut directly through this. This is the middle of the barrel. Um, so a quick way of doing this for the multi-cut is just pressing... Uh, so I'm pressing Control down to create a loop. And I'm just going to middle click, and that's going to give me a cut right in the center of that. I'm going to use that as a reference for the pivot point of this. So I'm just going to go into shading, wireframe on shading, uh, D to activate my pivot, V to snap, and I'm just going to middle mouse drag this up to this point here. So I'm just really using that as a guide. Okay, nothing else. Now I've got that pivot point, I can actually grab that edge again, 
double click on that and shift backspace to get rid of that. We don't actually need it. So grabbing this now, I'm going to do a control D, duplicate. Uh, in the channel box, I'm going to set this. So we're looking at the minus Y. I'm going to set this on the minus Y on the scale to minus one. And that should put it in exactly the same place, just underneath. Okay, so that's just a quick way to do that. Uh, just move off to the, to the side a second and just delete the one that hasn't got those in. And then I can just zero that back out. Okay. Let's take my wireframe and shade it off. And there I've got my sections on that. Okay. And the beauty about this, having this as a separate object, if we don't want these to line up perfectly, uh, we can always rotate this out and offset those as needed. Uh, so now we want the um, the rings for the barrel. And, and you can see there's a few different examples of this. I might do something like this uh, with these three rings on there rather than just the two. But obviously it's up to whatever you want. Uh, so what I'm going to do with these, I'm keeping the poly count down. I'm going to do all of this as normal maps. Um, so all of those details for the planks, I'm going to use those as normals, and also for the metal struts as well. Uh, so because I've done all of this detail in this high poly, I'm going to go back to my low poly just for a second. I'm going to duplicate this. And if I click into my high poly, I'll highlight it, right click, I'm going to add selected objects. So what this is going to do is add in this new barrel here. So I've got my move to this to the side for a second. I've got my other version underneath and I've got this. So let's do a control one again just to isolate that out. And while I'm in uh, while I'm here, I'm going to go to modify and I'm going to go to center pivot. And that's going to put the pivot in because I'm going to do the same kind of thing. I'm going to create the um, the clasps for the top and then I'll just mirror those over for the bottom. So back to my multi cut. Just press down control and then I'm going to put a few cuts through here. One there. I think I'll put one here. This is going to be my first one, my second one. And then maybe one. Here. I can go through and I'm just going to delete all the bits I don't want. So they're going to be my three rings. So I can just um, shift, I, well, even just double click on this now and delete that. And I can also go in here and just grab this edge loop and because I've deleted that uh, this is no longer connected got a gap between those so I can just double click on that and delete that as well so I just have those three rings okay while I have those I'm just gonna click on this and I'm gonna go into mesh display and soften edge so I don't want those faceted I don't want those perfectly smooth around or the outside Let's just press Control one again. Grab these. And I can just extrude these. So just a Control e And I'm just going to do thickness on that. OK. So we get something like that. OK. I'm just going to finish this off. I'm just going to go into these I'm going to grab these edges so again just shift double clicking on these so I'm just going to give this a bit of softness on these as well again just so the a normal map will read better um, and I'm just going to do a little bit of a bevel on this Okay, just a small bevel. Let's give that bit of softness on the edge. So 
So now I can grab that. I said I'm going to mirror this down, so let's duplicate these. Control D. Go to my channel box and on my Y axis, let's just set this minus one. And there I have my uh, rings on there. Okay. I may just go into these actually and I'm just going to grab the edges. Again, shift over clicking on these. I'm just going to do a quick bevel on these as well. And again, just a little bit. Just to soften those off. Okay. Control 1. So there I've got my high poly version of that. Um, so if I just grab this, you can see we have now, this is uh, 4,136 tries. Our low poly is just 478. But we're looking at getting all of this detail from this model onto our low poly model. Um, so again, what I'll do is I'll, I'll leave at this point. Um, and the next one, I may go in and add a bit more detail on this in terms of the high poly detail. And then we'll look at getting ready, getting this ready to export out.